it's Serene with Serene Vocal Studio. A lot has happened in the last few months. Come with me and check it out. I've got a new studio and I wanna take you for a tour. So this is where my students enter. Enter. It's so fantastic. And I have a please come in sign because people sometimes feeling weird about coming into this back door. Hello, rug. I have a nice uh, sitting area, you know, and a watch. So if you need to tell time, you'll know what's happening. Um, eventually, I'm going to have some more furniture situation happening over here. Not quite yet, but that's all right. Please remove your shoes, you guys. Dun, ta, ta. Okay, we come in here. And this is the main area. So fun. Have my students come stand over here. It's my working computer, closet for storage. So come check this out. So this is in no way organized, a little bit scary, but I have shelving in there, super helpful, boxes. What, it's like I moved recently or something. It's fantastic. Come out this way. So lots of good shelving happening. I have my students come stand over here. This is in the wrong spot. Hello. This is generally right here. And then my students stand right here. I sit right there or stand. I sit and stand, do all the things. And can really do a lot of things here. It's really fantastic. So in the last couple of years, I've been really into Marie Kondo and Marie Kondoing my house. It's been a trend, you know, I got on board. It brought me joy, so I did it. Um, so, and that's kind of how I've come into this studio space is what can I do to this space to help curate it, to make it feel light and beautiful and a place that I wanna to come to work. I always think people give their best when there's a space that's organized and light and simplistic and feels very, just like a blank palette. Speaking of blank palettes, behind my piano, I have these two blank canvases that I really hope to put on my walls when they're not blank. <laughs> I need to get them painted. I might do one and I might hire somebody to do the other one, but I have these huge, massive, blank walls that need some TLC. So just like having a blank canvas to put stuff on, I think it's important to curate your life in such a way where you can start with a blank canvas and then build up from there. Sometimes we wanna keep that canvas very minimalistic and simple. And I think that's great because then there's room for you to really shine within that space. If it becomes too busy and too messy, and you know, maybe some of you are looking at my shelves going, oh my gosh, so busy, so messy. Literally working shelves right here. So many things on it that I use for teaching. I can show you them in more detail if you want. I built in these shelves with my hubby and I needed space for my tools for teaching. Now, a lot of these books are my music library. I have everything from classical music to my musical theater anthology books to specific show books to Adele to jazz to Disney to more musical theater to Sarah Bareilles to Whitney Houston and then my own just notebooks that I have with uh, the Serene Vocal Studio vocal book um, which has tons of exercises in it my vocal warm-up books student folders music that I'm working from and more music that's like sheet music that's printed off. I have a whiteboard for when I'm writing stuff down for students. <gasps> Tissues, oh, all the fun things. Paper clips, push pins, other clippy clips, more music. Uh, yeah, music everywhere. These are all the same, these are all the same, these are all the same. This is my music library where people check out books often. They check out these mostly. Sometimes one from one's from down here, but I don't have as many in duplicates. I do have like musical theater anthology book duplicated as well as 
two of my secret garden books, which is fun. Um, then student folder, random decor, stuff in here that's like stickers for students, notebooks, hand sanitizer that I use when I need to sanitize those hands. Um, this is a holder for my phone. I can set it on it and I can do it like lengthwise or tall wise. My uh, uncle made that actually from a piece of wood from Brazil. Isn't that cool? <laughs> He's super talented and this was super basic and easy for him because, you know, he was needing one and then he thought it was so good that he made more and brought them over when he came for like a family reunion. Um, I put my laptop here and then I use this uh, Bose speaker to connect to my laptop when we're playing music and accompaniments. Um, piano obviously has all of the important things in it. Uh, um, all my working books are on the piano. Um, my planner, my student notebook, my notebook that has like notes and stuff for what I'm doing in voice lesson. Very important. This is for the students. I have, uh, this is so cool. I actually found this timer at Hobby Lobby and it is a 30 minute timer. This sand will go for 30 minutes. Isn't that crazy? And then obviously pencils. Whoa. Sometimes I have to like balance it to get it to, to go. And it's like, stay, 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 stay. It's mostly for decor. So students can stand here and have a good view of me, but also they can look out the window, which is really beautiful. And if you come on this side, there's a beautiful view over here. I probably should have had the students stand over here, but it's fine, they would have, that would have made them way more distracted. So then over here, I mostly just have a working, I put like pencils on this sometimes. This is more music library stuff, more piano, violin stuff over here. Um, anyway, so that's kind of how I have things organized. Those are for my group voice class that I have on Fridays. And yeah, printer, very important. Computer, very important, do lots of editing there. And so that's, that's about it. There's not a whole lot to it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward at the moment. I do want to have a, over here, I'm gonna have a seating situation happening. Hasn't come in the mail yet, that's okay. Um, but it's gonna be a place where students can come in when they're here for their lesson to just kind of sit and wait for their turn so that I can know, oh, my next student is here and I need to move on. So. That's what's happening at Screen Vocal Studio. Lots and lots of teaching, lots of learning and growing with students. Mostly my students right now are middle school, high school age, which is my favorite, absolute favorite ages to teach. They're just so teachable and moldable and wanting to be here and I love that. So if you haven't yet, go over onto my Instagram page and follow me at Serene Vocal Studio so you can be in on what's going on. I take polls over there for when I do uh, video reaction requests and that's where I'm gonna be primarily getting requests from. So if you have a request, go over and follow me on Instagram and then let me know what you wanna hear and what you wanna see. I'm excited to start making videos here at the new Serene Vocal Studio space. Same person, same fun, different setup, more organized, more space. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Serene Vocal Studio. Yes, it's quite a bit bigger than my last studio, which I'm very excited for. It has been working so well. I hope you have a great Friday and weekend or whenever you're actually watching this. I will talk to you next time. Peace.